Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Prices are just continuing to fall on this FIBA 23 market, especially after we learned some big news about the upcoming Ultimate Team of the Season in this next week of FIBA 23. That is just one of the reasons that the market is continuing to drop right now. And yesterday, we saw some really big price drops, especially on a certain area of the market. And what I want to do today is continue to talk about that as we head into this week, because it might not be done yet. I do think this market can keep crashing on a lot of different levels. We want to take a look through that today. Of course, today is Monday, right? It's Upgrade Pack SBC Day, our chance to pack Serie A Team of the Season cards. I'm looking forward to this big time today because these Serie A Team of the Season cards look cracked, and I would like to get at least a chance at packing a layout. Osimhen Kavicha, you know what a Monday brings. So we'll look at all that content today, and will we get more XP, or are we all done with that? I want to talk about that a little bit in today's video as well. Well, as we're getting very close to the end of this season of swaps. So if you're excited for a Monday on FIFA, the upgrade pack grind and everything going on in this game, drop a thumbs up on the video and subscribe if you are new. Let's quickly go over yesterday's content. There wasn't a ton to look over, to be completely honest, but we did get a lot of Liga Portugal team of the season content yesterday with SBCs, objectives, and cards and packs, and it was basically just as leaked. We got the Hector Bayerin, high, high work rates, just a decent card, nothing super crazy there. At least it's cheap. 30,000 coins to do, one squad. If that's a card. If you want to put together a Liga Portugal team, that might be a card that you need to do that. And man, this Liga Portugal team this season does look very, very nice. Now, the one thing I'll point you to is a lot of the objectives right now are dropping in the Milestones tab. That's because the season is, of course, ending on Thursday. So keep an eye on the Milestones tab. Instead of the objective tab this week, there might be more stuff dropping in there. Otavio wishing that he had five-star skills. High, high work rates, though. Not a bad card. Easily completable in here as well. Again, the biggest W of all the cards that were dropped yesterday for Liga Portugal team of the season uh, is definitely the cards in packs. I mean, you look at this team, the prices that they are all already at and some of the stats that these cards have are amazing. Gonzalo Ramos with the five-star skill, four-star weak foot boost with really, really good shooting stats for 100,000 coins. That's a fun card. 81 composure definitely lets him down. A little bit low on the passing stats as well, but that's why he's 100k. You got a cracked Otamendi for 30k, a Grimaldo with 99 pace for 60k, a Joao Mario. If you want to put together a team of any of these Portuguese Portuguese league team players, like this is a really, really fun set of players for a really cheap budget. I'm going to say this. I think this Taremi card looks better than Lukaku. He's four star, four star. He is lengthy on a hawk. Look at those stats. He's going to max shooting, almost max pace, 99 stamina, basically 99 strength as well. Really good uh, dribbling stats apart from the agility and balance. But of course, he's the lengthy. So going to be a really good card there for 40,000 coins. I am a big fan of this Liga Nash team. Really fun card to try out. Very linkable as well, right? With all the links that you got there, Portuguese team. All th the bad thing about this is, is it's a lot of the Portuguese flag kind of bait, if you will. Uh, because yes, Leao is in packs right now. So there are two uh, actually Portuguese left wings that are in packs for now. One of which is 800,000 coins or, or around there, this Pedro Gonçalves, uh, which in my opinion, this is the this is almost more cracked than Rafael Leao. This is an absolutely insane, insane card. Top tier for sure. And he's very expensive right now, but that's because he's a crack card and he's rare. Watch these cards throughout the week. They probably will drop, but a nice mix of players dropped yesterday with the Liga Portugal team this season. We did not see the Eusebio SBC though. We were looking forward to that and we unfortunately did not see that one. So that was kind of the content yesterday with Liga Portugal. We also had the last uh, SBC for XP. We had Team of the Season Challenge 9 and guys, I was thinking about this and we were talking about it a bit on stream yesterday. This might be the last piece of content that is released that gives us XP through objectives to try to get to level 30. If you're still on that grind like I am, I'm almost there. But, it, you know, with the outstanding stuff that we have, we have a lot of XP for the objective guys, for like the TOTS draft, for the cup, for silver stars. Um, guys, I don't know if we're getting any additional XP. There's nothing today for the upgrade packs like there's been in the past few weeks. And since we are so close to the end, again, three days until this season ends and three days until this is over and we get a whole new season with maybe a new set of swaps, but maybe just a regular season. Who knows? We'll find out more later on this week on that. If you're hunting down the last couple thousand XP that you need, I think you have to look at what we already have out. And I doubt there's any 
anything new that drops. There's maybe going to be one last thing. I don't know what it would be. You might say, Nate, what about Silver Stars? Well, if Silver Stars is dropping on Wednesday, I doubt there's XP for that when the season is going to be resetting literally the day after. So I'm not expecting Silver Stars to have XP this week. I think we've got it all in this game right now, which is a bit unfortunate for some of you guys that are maybe falling behind. But make sure you check in the objectives tab and get everything done that you can get done. So that was kind of all that happened yesterday on a pretty quiet Sunday, right? We had the 90 plus player pick on Saturday that bumped them some things up there. Now, let's talk about this market because yes, indeed, prices are crashing and prices are dropping like crazy. And it's on some specific cards. At least that's where we're seeing the biggest price drop offs. Remember Jonathan David in last night's video was like 530k and I was like, "Hey, that's a pretty solid buy." I picked two up for 525k, sold them for like 56570. He went all the way down to like 470,000 coins. Now he's back up uh, just about to 500k, but a lot of the market is down and a lot of these really expensive cards are down because people are getting ready for ultimate team of the season. The, the selling has started. The panic, I guess you could say, has begun because because what Ultimate Team of the Season does is, if you're not aware, it re-releases some of the best cards back into packs. It's like a re-release of some of the best cards dropped during the entire Team of the Season promo. A lot of people save packs for Ultimate Team of the Season. And right now what is happening is people are selling cards that they believe are going to get into Ultimate Tots. Take a look at Benzema. From 4.1 mil to start the day yesterday on Sunday, all the way down to 3.2. He dropped almost a million coins. He rebounded back to 3.6 mil where he is right now. It's mostly these top tier cards that are especially very overpriced as they have been uh, through Team of the Season. Ronaldo, 6.6 .6 mil, down to 5.4, back up to 5.8, and right now he's about 5.8 mil. There are so many examples of really, really expensive cards. Griezmann was 3.3, he went down to 2.3, and is back up a little bit. Vinny Jr. is down a ton. Militao, Valverde, Llorente, you look across the top leagues of Team of the Season, and you've got prices that are dropping like crazy. Mbappe was 10 million coins, and now he is 8 Point nine mil just yesterday i believe he was like 10.2 uh 10.2 mil dropping all the way to 8.9 and the reason this is happening is look at last year's ultimate team of the season side we're going to talk about this more later on during the week as we maybe get some more leaks and some more information but the premise of the ultimate tots is re-release players yes there's some really big cards in here there's also some pack filler and some lower tier cheaper ones but take a look at Teo hernandez's card last year Serie A team of the season being just before ultimate tots as well last year he was about to go out of packs he was 1.1 million coins he gets re-released into ultimate tots on friday june 10th and during that next week he went all the way down to 500,000 coins so you're seeing the preparations happen already people are selling off some of these cards because they know that there are price drops ahead especially if those cards get re-released back into ultimate team of the season that is the premise of why a lot of the big cards are dropping right now in this market. And guys, I don't think that it's done. Let's talk about that a little bit more. The reason I don't think it's going to be done is because we have some packs that have been added to the code. Now, this tweet's been out for a couple of days, and there's been some further leaks and information talked about with this. One really massive part about Ultimate Team of the Season is the rewards, right? Every single week we've been playing weekend league to get a chance at the main league of tots cards that are in packs right right now Serie A tots are in red picks and inside of the packs now this pack code that was added a couple of days ago shows ultimate slash liga portugal player packs like this is what the weekend league rewards would be this next weekend showing uh these cards right now in these packs so that is also starting to create some hype and also we saw a leak yesterday we take it with a pinch of salt of course that potentially ultimate tots cards would be in red picks can you imagine red picks when all of these cards are available you look at last year's team with guys like Yetter, Lewandowski, Bellingham, De Bruyne and Kunku Vinny Jr. all on the bench of ultimate tots then you've got Van Dijk, Rafael Leal, Benzema, Mbappe this would be like the most sweaty weekend league ever if it's only the ultimate tots cards that are in the red player picks now what has been done in the past is EA has actually put in the eFigs tots player picks so it gives you a player pick from one of the top five leagues and not just from the ultimate tots team that's been one letdown of these past couple of years of ultimate team this season and it's not confirmed yet but with a tweet like this yesterday that a lot of people saw and these packs in the code people are starting to dream imagine assume that the ultimate tots team will be in foot champs rewards right this is even a leak here from this account fifa 23 news take it with a pinch of salt it's not a leak account that we often follow 
follow. But I think this tweet as well is starting to, again, create some of that hype around the panic selling. And with that pack code tweeted as well, people are starting to believe that that could be a thing. So that's really impacting the top tier of the market. And I think it's going to impact the rest of the market throughout the rest of this week. Because if you think about seeing all those prices from Ultimate Team of the Season and all these Team of the Season cards getting re-released into packs, it's not like only the cards that get re-released into packs are dropping in price. If you take a look last year at this team of cards that are in packs, can you imagine when a 97 rated Modric card, like the one that we have this year that's already 400K, gets re-released back into packs. Last year, he was 700K. He went all the way to 200,000 coins. Well, what do you think that's going to do to the rest of the market that's maybe not included in Team of the Season Ultimate? But, you know, when all the rest of these insane top-tier cards that are being re-released into packs are dropping in value as they're getting packed and they're in packs again and supplied more, that's going to bring the rest of the market down with it. So that is why, again, this is why we're being very careful about buying and holding on to TOTS cards. And we've been talking about Ultimate Team of the Season, especially on the stream for the past couple of weeks. Guys, this would be a, probably a pretty decent opportunity before prices drop even further in the next week or two. If you want to be safe, I know it's towards the end game. I know you're wanting to use the cards that you've worked all year to get coins to be able to buy and stuff like that. I can completely understand this is definitely the time of the year to have fun but it is probably safe to be pretty careful this week and not hold on to too many cards because a lot of stuff I think is going to fall further and it might not happen just today or just tomorrow it's going to happen over the next week as we've got ultimate tots released into packs we got some of these cards coming back into packs and dropping in price and it's probably going to drag a lot of the rest of the market down with it along with the other content SBCs and stuff that we get. So that's kind of my general warning and I guess kind of my feeling for the outlook for the rest of this market in the next week to week and a half or so. A lot of prices are probably going to drop. Some of them will drop and have some quick bounce backs if they don't get released into Ultimate Tots, but we'll take a look at that towards the middle to end of the week as prices probably are going to continue to drop off at least a little bit today into tomorrow. So that's kind of my big, I guess you could say, uh, talking point right now is just be careful with cards that you have. Now, I've bought some Team of the Season cards because I still think that today on Monday morning, as it normally is, you're going to see some prices fluctuate, right? Last night, uh, Dybala had a really good fluctuation. That Teo Hernandez that I bought had a really good fluctuation as well. So I'm definitely not scared of trading uh, too much today. I'm going to be quick flipping a few cards, I think. We'll see if Dybala goes, how much lower he goes. He's already pretty low right now at 1.06. Definitely interested in some of the new cards like uh, Pedro Gonsalves, a.k.a. Pedro G Fuel. As some of you guys may know him by his nickname, he's 700K right now, right? He was 800K earlier. I sold one there. So I'm just kind of keeping an eye on those cards, but I'm going to probably be safe with my coins throughout the rest of this week. I'm going to stay pretty liquid just because the fear and the panic and the panic selling that could be coming. That's the thing for me that makes me, and if I had some cards in my team, I would probably take the cash sooner, a little bit uh, earlier than later, because I think prices do have potential to go down further next week and even at the end of this week. So that's kind of the big market talk conversation for me right now in this game, especially today, as we look towards the content, getting more SBCs that could drain coins off of this market and that's kind of where we're at right now as we kind of think about today in monday in terms of content what to expect today we're looking at those upgrade pack sbcs right here's what i would do already stock your club with the golds we say this every single week on sundays and mondays right stock your club with the rare golds last week they went to what a thousand coins or 1100 i think right now they are still minimum 650 and man i'm telling you with the way this team looks, I need to stock my club with some of these at 650 because I want to hit a lot of upgrade packs this week for Serie A. Now, if you're a little bit low on coins, maybe this is a week that you're a little bit careful uh, with that because you've got ultimate team this season that is upcoming. And there's going to be even, uh, of course, better, I guess, in total cards and packs with all the re-release of those cards. But I at least want to give myself a shot at packing some of these guys today, whether it's from the 81 times 11 or from the regular upgrade packs that are dropped. All I have to say about EA Sports today is you got to re-release that 80-plus player pick, man. You got to EA Sports. And I'm a little bit worried that they won't. And the reason I think they may not do that is Ultimate Tots 
is this Friday, right? So would they really want to drop an 80 plus player pick that you could stack up a bunch of for all of the team of the season? It's June EA. Let us have fun, but I could see them not wanting to do that. So I wouldn't be surprised if they didn't release an 80 plus, but I have my fingers crossed and I really hope that they do drop an 80 plus player pick today. So if you believe that's going to happen, maybe stock up on some commons at 300, 350, but the rares for the uh, eight player Serie A packs that we've come to expect every single Monday are definitely something to watch out for today. Now, if the market's going to be dropping during the week, how are we going to be trading in a safe way this week? How are we going to be able to increase our coin balances, especially with prices going down? I've got an answer for you. It's SBC fodder. You guessed it, right? We got 83s, 84s, and 85s definitely on our radar for investment again because guess what? 81 times 11, we got more SBCs coming out like the guaranteed Liga Portugal, guaranteed Serie A Tots pack going to be coming out this week. That's the, the market and upcoming drops in prices is not going to stop a lot of people from doing those types of upgrade packs and SBCs. So I think that the 83s to the 85s are once again a pretty good investment. If it happens like it did last week, where uh, we had the 80 plus player picks released, that might hurt some of our fodder rises, right? Last week, 84s, 85s didn't do as well because we had that 80 plus player pick there that a lot of people were, uh, of course, getting fodder from. But if we don't get that this week, I think your 83s to 85s will do tremendous once again. Again, stay away from the Serie A cards, as we mentioned it in the past couple videos, but 85s, 8.2K? Uh, like that's that's a W in my book 8.2 K for 85s all we need is for one SBC to require an 85 rated card or an 84 rated card if you're investing in 84s and uh, boom you're gonna make bank right so 84s we've seen it they've gone to 6k 85s we've seen it they've gone to 10 11,000 coins if I had to pick a more favored investment I think I would pick the 83s and the 84s because also, if you take a look at the rest of the fodder market, 86s are 9.5K, only 1,000 coins more than 85s, and 87s are still 13K. So, yes, there is a jump potential there, but really what you're hoping for is EA to require an 85-rated player in a SBC, like a guaranteed TOTS, which they haven't been doing that too much. They've more so just been requiring the squad ratings, but specifically in that 81 times 11, you want like an 85 or an 84 specific requirement. I think I might lean towards the 84s, but it's better a safe play to just stock all of them in your club, fill up a few on your transfer list, and then lazy list those through the week. So that's kind of the fodder investment side of things that you could definitely do. Another thing I want to shout out in terms of fodder is informs and you might be like nate why are we talking about informs it's a tradable inform uh sbc that is supplying these guys on the market there is but you can only do that sbc once every like what is it two weeks or something like that it already refreshed a lot of people have already done it and as i'm taking a look at inform prices they're not up as much 13k for an 87 rated inform is not that much i want to show you footman right now and take a look at a couple of these cards i'm just doing a club stock on these i'm not going to invest like crazy but if you take a look at these graphs, um, like these guys were all 16, 17K last week, and they went down when the SBC refreshed for that tradable team of the week player. 87 informs went down to 13,000 coins. Now they've started to go back up a little bit, but I think if you club stock 86 and 87 rated informs, 88s are already starting to go up. Um, and all these have started to go up a little bit because again, right, you had that dip with the tradable refresh, but they're starting to go up just like as Alder fodder, like the TOTS cards are going up. As TOTS cards get expensive and, and more expensive, people might start to turn to the informs because they're cheaper. And a lot of the requirements, once again, as we look at SBCs are team of the week, or team of the season. So the fact that these guys are getting a little bit cheaper, especially on the higher tier, uh, basically we're trying to go as high rated as we can before those cards are uh, like discard. As high rated as we can go and as close to discard as we can go, if that makes sense. But as you look at a lot of these squads, right? You've got team of the week or team of the season player minimum one. Team of the week or team of the season player minimum one. And that's the requirement that they've been doing a lot of. So we've seen team of the season cards go up, right? From 18,000 coins to about 22K. And I'm not sitting here saying that you're going to have all of your team of the week cards that are 87 rated go up to 22,000 coins as well. Um, they might only go to like 20K in the next week or two. But this is a sort of thing where that tradable team of the week pack does not um, refresh at least 
for another like two weeks, I think, because that's when the SBC expires and then it could come back. So I like 86 rated informs at discard. I like 87 rated informs and 14K and below 13K if you can, because that's where they were last week before they started to go up a little bit towards 16, 17K. If you look at their graphs, you see the fluctuations, right? They go down to like 15, 14, you get them on a bid. That's what I would do. Just put one in your transfer list, one in your club. That's more of a longer term investment, but that's still a part of the market that I think has potential um, just because they haven't risen as much as the team of the season cards have. So I like that part of the uh, fodder investment as well in this game at the moment. Now we talked about Mon Monday content today, the upgrade packs to 81 times 11. What about a player SBC EA Sports? Can we get a player SBC shout for possibly a Eusebio icon, right? That's a card we've been talking about. We didn't see it yesterday. A little surprised not to see it. We also could have the Milinkovic Savage or the Labotka, right? I think there's definitely going to be a player SBC today. Just honestly don't know who it's going to be. You'd think they'd go back to maybe a Serie A player, but we will have to see what they do there. And guys, yesterday, big news. And I don't know if EA has the turnaround time or the capability to drop a massive SBC or the desire to drop a massive SBC in the next, I don't know, week. But this SBC for an end of an era, Zlatan Ibrahimovic, or just, we need like a role of end of an era's men. We need an end of an era, potentially Benzema. People have shot at Busquets, Quagliarella, Alaba, there are so, uh, not Alaba, Alba, Jordi Alba. There are so many end of an era SBCs that could be dropping, but specifically this guy, man. If they dropped an end of an era Zlatan Ibrahimovic, that would be a card um, that would not leave my starting 11 for probably the rest of the year, right? Those, There's some just really top tier end of an eras right now as the season is ending and some of these guys are retiring, moving on from their clubs that would just hit different right now in this game. So EA, if you're listening at all, end of an era Zlatan Ibrahimovic would mean so much for so many people, and especially since he's only got one special card this year, that will be phenomenal, man. Especially for me, this is one card that uh, like got me into playing FIFA. Remember scoring you know, crazy long shots of them in FIFA 15, which was my first FIFA. Uh, I used to name my foot club after Ibrahimovic because he was the card that I would kind of do an RTG for to get his gold card, which back in the day, his gold card was like 300K until at least like March. It was crazy expensive when he was at Man U. So, you know, that sort of stuff is really emotional for me and for a lot of people in this game. And those are great SBCs for the end of the year. So I hope they do something along those lines. Maybe not today or this week, but coming soon, EA, please. We would really, really like that. And then also, we got to talk about compensation as well because uh, I think we're getting into that window where compensation for the League One player picks Mondays have been days where they have released compensation before, and I think today would be maybe one of the earlier shouts for a day where they could potentially do compensation. So I'm not saying it's going to happen today. I'm just saying, hey, there's a chance that it could be coming pretty soon. I'm sure it's going to take a long time for them to figure out who all is deserving of compensation because of a lot of people definitely playing weekend league. Um, and needing those player picks. But that's a very popular question right now. And uh, I hope that that compensation is coming very soon. It needs to come soon. And I feel like the earliest potential for that could be late. So watch out for that today on FIBA 23. But it's upgrade pack day. We're going to try to pack some blues. Hopefully we get player picks as well. And a good craftable player SBC. But just be careful on that market. Because a lot of stuff I think is just going to be continue to be headed in the downward trend during this week. So that's it for today guys. If you did enjoy smash a thumbs up on it. Comment down below if you have any questions. And subscribe if you're new. It's been Nathan Foot Account. I'll see you guys in the stream today. Peace.